Thank you for joining us in 21 Days of Prayer. Chosen today to record near the end of the day as we come to the end of our 21 Days of Prayer. Title today, Restore Your Worship, January 23rd. Psalm 22nd is the perfect sound of a person who feels a desperate need for restoration in his or her life. We find David crying out to God to draw near to him as his desperate moment. We see David in an anxious state, trying to hear from God in his desperate moment. We all face such moments in our lives, too, when we are not able to handle the uncertainty of our lives, and we focus so much on it that we are filled with anxiety. One of the desperate and anxious moments of Jesus' life was on the cross when he cried, My Father, my God, my Father, why have you forsaken me? There was a moment in history when God felt God forsaken. But God also knew there was a resurrection after the crucifixion. Death was not the end of the story for Jesus, but the restoration of mankind through the resurrection of Christ was the plan of God throughout one of the things I love about David is that in his moments of desperation, he still has this understanding of who God is that helps him convert his desperate moment into a moment of worship. Psalm 22nd. David prepares himself to declare the praises of the Lord in any given circumstances, and he is not afraid to worship him when and wherever he can. In our lives, somewhere down the line, we have lost our heart for worship, and it is time that we restore our worship through the help of the Holy Spirit. As we pray today, why don't we add more time to stay in His presence and worship Him in truth and in spirit. And as you pray today, please pray for the redemption of those who are today not serving the Lord. Let's pray. Lord. I pray that you will restore my heart of worship today. There have been so many times I have allowed my worldly worries and situations set the tone of my worship, but today, help me change that. And may my worship set the tone of my response to the situational problems in my life. As David says, the kingdom is yours and you rule over all. Come and reign over my life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. If you're reading through the Bible with us today, I invite you to read Genesis 32, 33, and 34. That's Genesis 32 to 34. And thank you so much for joining us in 21 Days of Prayer. God bless.